Patrick. I think there's some animal trapped in this cage. Oh boy, oh boy, maybe it's a giraffe! We should probably free it from its cage, whatever it is. Something cool, like a uh, a hay penny. Adorable Steve. <laughs> Did you hear? New shipment of pro-aging cream just went out. Those bandits have really cornered the old lady market. No talent. The princess's animal is so majestic. I oh, hope they let it out soon. A little dabble, do ya? will be the key to our success.
key in on this one soon. Ah. I'm feeling better already. on this one soon. The princess's animal is so majestic! I hope they hurry up soon! Ooh, more jelly! I'm feeling better off! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Jeez, now we can go free the animal. <laughs> A little dabble do ya! Look at me go! Come hither, adorable steed! such a majestic creature. The colorful mane, the sparkly eyes, and that piece of bubble wand in its mouth. Quick, we have to catch it! Don't let the unicorn get away! It's too pretty! That old house looks like it belongs to a witch. Maybe the unicorn is hiding behind it. Patrick, thank you.
The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Salutations, Yellow Knight. Isn't she a good girl? I'm Twitchy the Witchy. And what brings you to my cabin in the woods? Greetings, Miss Witchy. I'm Sir SpongeBob. My balloon buddy Patrick and I followed your... Uh, handsome pet, because it took something of ours. Could you maybe convince it to give it back? Sorry, but if Rainbow <laughs> finds it, I keep it. However, I might trade it for some of that miraculous Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream my coven has been buzzing. They say it can wrinkle your skin enough to make you look twice your age. You got it, Twitchy. One batch of Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream coming right up. How hard can it be to pick up some cosmetics? It can only be found in the most dangerous part of the woods, along the banks of the rushing river of Meanderson. There should be some left from the last shipment the baby-faced bandits raided. Fill up this bucket and I may trade you for it. You got it! Chafing. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me.
for you and me. Still alive? Good for ye. The last few heroes I sent out for cream never returned. The wrinkling hath begun. Good job, you two. Now beat it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. <laughs> Hand me that thing so I can fix it and you can leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Now get lost! Ooh. What a pro! Uh -huh. I could have licked that just as good as her! I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway! Hear ye, hear ye. With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the Princess of Wales calls on the kingdom's bards to heed her casting, uh, call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planner's uh, unforgiving eardrums. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely! But where are we gonna find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? No, I meant we should try out for the band so we can get into the castle and save Pearl. Oh yeah! That's what I meant, too. Yeah. 
If Squid Note plays again this year, almost time for the auditions. I've got my tomatoes ready. I hope that old witch wasn't invited this time. She's always the popcorn and soda. Traditional popcorn and soda. Hey, but you can't pop all the balloons in the courtyard faster than me. I'm the courtyard balloon popping champion. No more urchins. I'm so excited for the ball I tonight. Heard. Oh, she's just that in the way. Thank you, Patrick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about you? I feel like Mr. Krabs. Ooh, the auditions are starting soon. Great. The audition to start. I like to boo from the shadows. Another bard, another migraine. But what doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But our royal blowhole decreed that not one of her subjects is to be turned away. Because everybody's got a talent. Ah. Thou have until I follow the sleep of thine mediocrity to earn my admiration. Amazeth me. Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's most excellent slumber party. The audience seemed to like their, uh, music. And besides, I have already rejected all the other contestants. Thou may enter the castle. Don't screw it up.
count on you, Patrick. is better than mine. Why don't you sleep on all of them to find out? Ooh, more jelly! Looks good thing they'd at least tidy up around here for such a momentous occasion. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you.
Something's wrong. Yeah, she looks like a real sad sack. That should cover my buns. These weird, squishy monsters ruined my slumber party. The waiting staff have all fled. Who will serve my guests their well earned cake slices? You? As if I'm a princess, you royal doofus. That would be totally uncoral. Gosh, Pearl, I mean, Princess Pearl, don't worry. Patrick and I will serve the epic cake. Let them eat cake. SpongeBob, you did it! 
it. My slumber party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sale of the mall. Yeah, the mall. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. This music is terrible. Thankfully, a true bard is here now. Let the real festivity begin. <laughs> Best party ever! I could totally hug you right now, but I don't want to pop you. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I'm not a balloon. You can still hug me. <sighs> okay, I guess you've earned it. Ah! We did it, Patrick. Everyone is safely back in Bikini Bottom. Now we just need to find the Krusty Krab so I can go to work tomorrow. Well, I wish I could go to work. This day off has been exhausting. Just don't tell any of the popular kids at school that I hugged you. Now I have to go find my dad to make sure he's okay. What's driving me to the mall? They're having a sale on princess dresses. <laughs> Let 